Well, guess what? Yep, it's story time. I can't even believe it. We just had a story time. And now, uh, as Trudy, Darlene, and Daniel Fletcher come forth, know that as the two lampstands, we are not the uh, two witnesses. Uh, this is a misunderstanding of Bible prophecy. The two witnesses would be Moses and Elijah, and they would come, the, the original. I'm only the third Elijah. Uh, John the Baptist was the second. But praise the Lord, uh, we are the chosen uh, receptacles where the Lord has uh, deposited his overflowing oil of joy and gladness for this kingdom age hour. So get ready, it's going to get very interesting, beloved. And as you uh, ponder the truths herein, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace, from both Trudy and myself, and uh, may, may you all come over to our mountain and uh, partake of the feast that uh, we've been preparing for all people because God is going to remove disgrace of all people upon this mountain of his love that is being raised brick by brick. <laughs> it's going to be good, people. And because the um, vision of Zechariah 4 has come, Know also that we are releasing the flying scroll of Zechariah's vision as well that is foretold to come forth from, from the two lampstands and become as a, a flying curse that will enter into the houses of criminals and these people and bad people and burn them up and uh, change their hearts because it's the love that will do all. And uh, so praise the Lord. And I do hope that you enjoy uh, this reading and know that uh, as, as I read about this vision that I've had, that uh, you're a part of that vision if you're willing to ascend up to the great white cloud of Revelation 14 and Matthew 24. For the kingdom age has come, and I have given the kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 and 32 to all flesh so God can pour out his spirit upon all people as it is written in the prophet Joel. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the blessing of Kenny G. And um, I, I thoroughly hope that you uh, enjoy this vision of the two lampstands journeying unto the great white throne up in outer space because the great white cloud has come and you're welcome to come along with Trudy and I for the ride and what a ride it has been so um, I'm going to read what's uh, verbatim what's uh, written here and uh, I hope it blesses you as much as it blesses me in order to think that maybe I'm blessing someone. And if I am blessing someone, uh, please, uh, armageddon.owsley at gmail.com. I have no support out here for months, and I, I'm getting a little weary and well-doing. Someone's going to send me a million dollars one of these days. Armageddon, spelled just like it does in the uh, dictionary, armageddon.owsley, O-W-S-L-E-Y at gmail.com. And please uh, like and subscribe. For one thing for sure, Trudy Darlene and Daniel Fletcher, we're working hard to produce these materials for all of you. And Trudy's really excited. She's going to be uh, uh, stepping away from Facebooking and Twitter Twittering <laughs> uh, shortly for uh, in a little while. So she's excited about that. So praise the Lord and pass this ammunition. This is ammunition. This is the meat that Jesus was talking about uh, in Matthew 24. Who will feed uh, the master's household meat while the master's away? It is his latter-day Elijah who restores all things. That he, just like he said in Matthew 17, 11. And uh, praise the Lord, I am Shiloh, the one uh, eyes dull and red with wine in uh, Genesis 49, 12. And I am the one, one transgressed by wine in uh, Habakkuk 2 that's bringing this vision of God. And uh, so enjoy. And as the future writer of the Lord's Islamic dove of peace, 
It was impossible for me, Daniel of Windsor, Ontario, to miss seeing the beautiful flaming blue fire of God's utter glory surrounding the bejeweled walls of his heavenly temples as Trudy and I both looked up towards it. And all of a sudden we were in the spirit, uh, one on this side of the river and one on the other side of the river as the vision of Daniel uh, foretold. And neither could we help beholding the portals of heaven blazing away with the hottest refiner's fire of love. And unbelievable sensations were transpiring. And Trudy says, I can't believe it, Brother Daniel. And I said, Sister Trudy, neither can I. <laughs> and, you know, we were just totally, uh, what? We couldn't say nothing. We were just at awe of what we were seeing. And all around us, we came to sense that things also seemed to be as hot as fire and as cold to ice. We were suddenly within the heavenlies without a spaceship. And it's like we were walking on a giant rainbow uh, of glistening uh, color and, and sp uh, sparkling, shimmering. It's like little tiny stars were beneath our feet. It was like a, a, a tran tr transcendent gold that was shimmering shimmering almost like this background is and it was just so beautiful to behold and there were also a host of other uh, delights of life that was right be out of our reach but we could sense that joy covered both of us and our spirits were rejoicing as the lord's love got a hold of our hearts of hearts and then um just as i was prophesied in habakkuk 2 it all, I also beheld with Trudy uh, 24 seats in a crescent uh, by the great white throne upon that great uh, cloud of Revelation 4, uh, 14. And he said, here is the sickle, and I'm putting it into the earth. And you two are my uh, lampstands, and uh, send this forth unto all people, to all nations, and to all tribes. And so I took the sickle, and as the writer of the Everlasting Gospel, first video under this channel, uh, I, I told the Lord, behold, what would you have me see? And this is what he uh, emotioned for Trudy and I, attention. Not a word was said then. From this point on, beloved, in the vision, he spoke not, but yet we could hear him as plainly as I'm talking to you. And upon the seats we saw twenty-four elders sitting clothed in the whitest raiment. And all of a sudden, behold, a crystal house of fire and ice was all around us. It came from out of nowhere. And it, it but we were not afraid because love was permeating that scene and the glorious resplendence of his utter uh, beneficence and magnificence went before him, the splendor of his love, which was igniting as adoration for one and all, not just us, but for all men. And he put that into us as oil of joy and gladness so that we would spill it all over the earth without, uh, just as his floodgates uh, were opening. And all of a sudden we heard the great deluge open as the floodgates crashed. And uh, next thing we knew, it was landing on asteroids and comets. And we could see into the realm of the spirit. And we saw the rings of Jupiter doing a uh, uh, sloppy, uh, uh, beads of like a, a holy rain that was falling all over the planets and but without warning we then abruptly found ourselves again translated somewhere else and we realized it was to the Lord's highest temple where the great book of love was housed and we were at awe and we fell down at the presence of an angel that was before us and the angel looked at us uh but said nothing, but it was an indignant look. No, and we, we could sense, no, don't bow to me. Bow only to our love and who is the love of our ages, who has unconditional love for the host. And the angel let us know it is we who should bow unto you. And he, he looked at Trudy and I, and we couldn't believe what he was saying. And he says, no, it's true. You are angels too. <laughs> you, the glory of the latter house is greater than that of the former. And we knew in that moment that we were created to be the most beautiful butterflies of all along this cosmic trip into the celestial heavens where we could see 
uh, very close the new Jerusalem that was on its way, that this way comes. And nor could we help falling on our faces uh, as, as we beheld that, that second house, which was much greater also in glory than the former ever was. And uh, it was amazing to us. And we were totally, it was like we were uh, shocked and uh, kind of like hypnotized, mesmerized was the total right word. And uh, our, the awesomeness of love that was permeating through us. It was just unbearable and there was nothing left of us suddenly. It was like it was like our bones became as as uh, wax melting and uh, we became set on fire by the fire of his crystal uh, city that was beckoning us to come and bring all with us who would follow that would uh, enjoy having lunch in the heavenlies with the great uh, blessedness of the the mountain of food, the banquet of Elijah to feed God's household while Emmanuel, our Lord, who will be with us again, has been away. So it's time for the feast of feast. And we beheld the amazing temple of awesome splendor was built out of some gorgeous ro roaring flames of the bluest fire that anyone could possibly ever imagine. And it was impossible for any description to be. In every respect, it excelled in excellence so much that its magnificence could never be described. For the remarkable nature of that flaming temple ablaze with beauty and majesty was completely aflame with his incomprehensible splendor of our majesty of majesty, our hero of heroes, our icon of icons. And we were uh, inconceivably stupendous uh, in our our uh, seeing of him and we just could not hardly contain and its mystical appearance of what he was showing us by his spirit it was a resplendent holy mist, mist of golden translucence and transcendence was abounding beloved even its floor as we looked it was made of flaming blue fire and above it was a real overflowing inferno of glory and we heard the voice come unto his two uh, olive trees and he says this shall be the leaves of your trees to bring peace unto all the nations and by my overflowing oil of gladness and good tidings and best wishes to all of my children so shall it be that Eden is before man just as this uh, seeing is before your eyes Trudy Darlene and Daniel Fletcher and it was so exceedingly thick and once the, the voice of the Lord left our ear, we saw and turned and beheld. Therefore, the radiance thereof was manifesting itself as a misty fog of purity, appearing as a billowy cloud by day, as an incredible pillar of incinerating fire by night. And it was uh, burning out all of our religiosity. So we could see nothing except loving spirituality is what we were meant to all have, beloved. And we looked, and behold, its ceiling was also made of holy flaming fire, being fervent and icy cold at the same time. And we did not understand it, but we had to accept what we were seeing. And the word of God then echoed unto his seven thunders, saying, Let every faithful soul of the faithful few obedient upon earth behold the choice of God in a nutshell by my prophet Trey Smith even if translators are needed. Obey that command uh, to watch God in a nutshell, the choice by the prophet Trey Smith, says the Lord. For I will spew out of my mouth all lukewarm souls who let their love light go out and commit the unforgivable sin that would bring judgment upon themselves by themselves if they choose not to act and to be obeying my commands. So it's time, people, to reserve your diligence, O people of love, and obey the whispers of the holy angels who now declares, if you tell God no because he won't explain the reason, he wants you to do something. You, you would be hindering his very best blessings when you say yes to him. All of uh, heaven would open up to pour out his goodness, to reward your obedience. For the things that matter more than material things are the blessed things that God wants to teach 
your spirit, says the Lord. And the eagle's talons, uh, they came forth against all religious spirits. And so shall it be that some lukewarm people of no discernment shall behold this, this vision of peace. And they'll dare asking themselves why God sent it to spotlight the unshakable fact that many religious souls continually suffer from rebellion of their hatefulness. Beloved, it is, it is time to turn and to understand new things that the Lord wishes to bring unto all people of love. So praise the Lord and, and pass, pass these, uh, pass these, uh, uh, this vision. And it came about in this vision that Daniel and Trudy, we together beheld God's loftiest thrones therein and his appearance like uh, that of the whitest ice emitting a blue mist due to the surrounding flickering flames of his revealed truth of love unconditional for one at and all. And then uh, as the Lord's end time reapers who have nothing to do because uh, he's the sower of the seeds of love who has overtaken his end time harvest reapers. All we can do is say it's time to leave. The wheat cannot grow with the tares. Run people, run, run away from all racism, all all religion of condemnation, run, unplug it. And uh, we then beheld those bejeweled thrones of our Lord God's highest honor shining like some dwarf stars ablaze with inviting coronas that effortlessly reaches out most hypnotically unto any lightning struck beholder of their awesome beauty. Come. Oh my God, it was just so glorious. And uh, a glimpse into the glory of God was it. And it was a crescendo. And it was a highest high, beloved. And wow. Just like Kenny, wow, he can hit some high note. I can't even believe it. But praise the Lord. And you know, uh, these are the days of new understandings of love. And it comes forth uh, to give us all a glimpse of glory. And all are invited to the great mountain. And all nations shall flow into it, Micah 4, 4. Uh, and uh, so grand was the ambience of that breathtaking royal throne room. Glorious was the dazzling emerald green lights which were shimmering over top of them. Most great was the fire all about which was burning with the greatest affection towards he that once walked upon the waters. Incredibly shocking to behold was the continual blaze of those cool flames. And Trudy and I were just totally at awe. And we beheld and we could not deny what we saw because they were aflame with the strongest desire for that regal son of Mary who sat there most majestically as Emmanuel, man's Messiah, being clothed with the most high's greatest heartfelt love, which was bleeding through the surrounding cloud of his very own glory. Uncanny reflections of radiance Trudy and I beheld, and the undersides of those great white thrones then allowed the holy streams of flaming fire to flow out the golden flames of their seats all aglow and deposited into our hearts so that we could give back that which the Lord has shown us. And it happened all the way to the brilliant sea of glass. Uh, it was as crystal, and it was well reflecting the holy fires of Isa Yeshua, Jesus' most stupendous temple of all temples. And we were in the new Jerusalem, beloved. And then we beheld that eternal glory was sitting upon his great white throne uh, right above earth. And the dark side of the moon is now his footstool, beloved. And this we saw clearly, and we noticed the crown radiantly by uh, that he wore by the seven golden crowns of his absolute authority, which shined like a laser beam. And the scepter of his uh, bejeweled uh, ruby red scepter of all authority under heaven, it was then taken from Israel as uh, Judah. And that roaring lion of Zion roared, and he says, Now it comes into your hand, mine Elijah, and my two uh, lampstands. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide not this light. 
And then, all of a sudden, even the beautiful, seamless raiment of his was shining far brighter than our sun in supernova ever could be, and it was far whiter than the whitest snow of a real uh, abominable blizzard. And the Lord said unto our hearing, And so shall the, the scarlet sin of the most worst sin, that it's not the unforgivable sin of letting your love totally go out. And we, we sense that, that uh, we would be as snow white, just like that, in front of his all-seeing eyes, even though uh, we were as uh, blood scarlet, red with sin. But it was all trans transcendent upon us, and our souls were burning with love, and we could not uh, hardly contain. Trudy looked at me, I looked at her, and we said, Mama, where's Lois? Daddy, where's Hubert? Cheryl, where are you? We were calling for our family, believe it or not. And because they are blessedness, and we come from uh, royal stock, we have, uh, uh, Trudy will tell the story of our bloodline. It's uh, O negative, and there's something very interesting about uh, O negative blood. Uh, so uh, she'll tell you that story. But praise the Lord. Nor could any angels that were out and about, and we looked at the, the hosts, staring from space and seeing us and they were bowing down to the greater shining that we were had inside because the Lord had put it there and uh, they could not even dare to enter that holiest of places at that time because they knew it was our time it was man's time to arise and it was man's time to ascend to the great white cloud so that we can fully be like our Father, our Heavenly Father, and have unconditional love for all men just as He does, so that we will break the sword of the Spirit and beat it into the sickle of love, who, and because He is the sower of the seed of love, who has overtaken us, beloved. And we were so overtaken by His love and His adoration, His benevolence and charity that He's pouring upon one and all. Uh, and he says uh, in his covenant, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will write my law of love on your heart and evermore shall I be yours. And he said, all shall know me from the least to the greatest and uh, praise the Lord. And he says, and now no one else shall ever need to be taught anything about me beyond this video and about uh, beyond the message of my kingdom age covenant for all. But praise God, it's time to come to the mountain of his overflowing living water and his living bread because now comes the meat of the harvest and I am Elijah who shall feed the master's household because he is still away. But good news, he comes upon the great white cloud all the way to earth very, very soon. If people will just turn to one another and let the hearts of the fathers turn to the children, children to the fathers, so that the earth shall not be hit with the curse that is fully erasable, just as Nineveh was never destroyed. And we could not believe our luck as Trudy and I stood there blinking as we looked upon his benevolent face due to the unleashed glory all around, which no terrestrial or celestial flesh ever could behold unless he allowed it. And we were in tears, beloved, for the flaming fire of God's crowning wisdom was all around us and all around him. It overflowed. And we were in the middle of a great blazing fire of the wisest prudence was standing before him smartly. And none of the angels in heaven could even think about drawing nigh unto our Lord's eyes ablaze unless he invited them in to watch. But it was our time, beloved. And it was time, it was time for wondrous things. And uh, so know that only those who can receive it may uh, unto many blessings will flow and abound. For such souls are set apart by God's blessedness so they can realize that the world isn't dangerous because of those who do harm, but because of those who look at the whole mess without trying to do anything about it, uh, walking dead, indifferent about everything, including these messages. So let all those blessed by Thomas Edison arise and shine as they come to grips with the reality that peace can never be achieved by force, for peacefulness can only be achieved through deeper understandings. And if the facts don't fit the theory, let the wise among the children of obedience change the, the what facts they're willing to accept as they chisel into their heart's tablet the truest truth of love that genius is just one 
100% inspiration and 99% perspiration. So days of absolute victory of our Lord God is here. So may all former children of of rebellion learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow, while never coming to the point of stupidity where they suddenly quit questioning the realities of what others uh, who say that they know the way towards glory. But all anyone really needs is the compass herein that the Lord is now sending, sending toward the point to heaven, which the gospel of the dove uh, through Trudy and my ministry, our Elijah task, shall always be. So be the master of your own fate. The Lord is cutting us off free. If you love something, let it free. If it comes back, it's yours. If it doesn't, it never was. Those that will not come back to him are ones that commit blaspheme of the Holy Spirit and will experience the hellish perishing of everlasting love without him. So be the master and go in the direction of your dreams, beloved, and also become the captain of your soul. Accept no condemnation from no man, no more. Be proud of who you are. For these are the days when, when he says those walking with the Spirit are under no condemnation. And that means simply to have your light of love for one another on. Love your enemy. I love Morgan Official, Morgan Knight, uh, the revealed lawless one of Revelation 13.13, 13, who would die by a sword because he is a sword swallower off Freak Show who has the 666 on the wall right beside him. And let every child of love always lead Christ's own down good paths because we are all Christ's own. He is our navigator who always steers everyone of love in the right eternal direction always if we will look to his peace and his loveliness. And may they never fail until they simply quit trying to receive anything new from their Lord. And as Einstein once said, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, uh, expecting different results. So let everyone uh, craving a uh, newness with the Lord now wholeheartedly embrace this released new passion of his gospel of love, which is now coming forth for everyone who wishes to bear witness to Trudy and and my uh, vision of his love, beloved. So love from love. And hope from hope. And I'm just going to turn this around here. Yep, there we go. Wow, that was a good one. And the moral of the story is, people, maybe we should all just be like Teletubby. Just good. good. I used to like watching Red Green. You know, you, you, you just get some duct tape. Everything gets fixed with duct tape. Everything. And all you got to do is you just got to uh, tape your phones to your chest and be like Teletubbies. You know Teletubbies, don't you? I hope you do. Behold the Son of Righteousness, the Son of Love, arising with healing in his wings. Be as little children. Jesus said so many times. These are the days of uh, the Son of Love. Behold. And don't miss next program. It's just getting warmed up. It's time. Be a Teletubby. And don't forget your Mickey and your Minnie now. And Elmo. Love from love. Hope from hope. Hope has come, beloved. Will you reach for it? I hope.